Hey, what's going on everyone? Carlos here. Welcome to my all new series in which I interview interesting people and address your business questions. Joining me here today in the studio is Connor Blakely. Connor is a 17 year old marketing strategist. Welcome, Connor. It's good I'm, to see I'm you. I'm happy to be on. Thanks for having me. Great to have you as well. So, Connor, why don't you just tell folks out there that aren't familiar with you a little bit about yourself? So, entrepreneurship for me was always a DNA trait. Uh, it started when I was super young, uh, always hustling. It started out with taking rocks, selling rocks when I was seven, uh, all the way to baseball cards, basketball cards, autographs, to lemonade stands. Uh, and then in the eighth grade, starting a homework selling network, almost getting expelled from school. Uh, I heard the word entrepreneur for the first time, and then my dad said, you need to find a way to bring real value to a business. Uh, that's how I got started uh, in social media. Uh, started my social media agency, grew it to 50, over 50 medium-sized businesses as clients. Wow. And after that, I did that for almost two years. And then uh, I was playing basketball with my friends outside mm -hmm. uh, for like three or four hours. And then afterwards, uh, we all came in my garage, drank some Gatorade, and then everyone was checking their phone, and the rate at which they were scrolling through Twitter was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And I was like, is this a common occurrence? Is it because they haven't been on their phones? Is it because brands don't know mm -hmm. how to talk to our generation? What's the problem? Dove in, did a mm -hmm. bunch more research, realized that not only is Gen Z mm -hmm. the most influential, unique, and diverse, but they're also something brands have never had to encounter before. So I left social media uh, to try to solve a bigger problem. So Connor and I actually met through Twitter, and Connor, in true hustler fashion, made it out to South by Southwest, which is where you and I actually met yeah. in person. So we're at South by Southwest, hanging out with Gary Vaynerchuk, and I got to know you, and I gotta say, man, you are on a upward trajectory, but I gotta ask you a cliche question. Yeah. What do you wanna do when you grow up? Here, the best part about it is, I don't know. But what I do know is the overlying, overlying traits that I want to have embodied into whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I know that I want to make a, make, of course, make a lot of money, but not just for the sake of mm -hmm. being rich, but to be able to give back and have impact. At a very young age, I hope to be able to do what I want because I truly believe that the key, the key to happiness is doing what you want, right? So I, my goal is to be able to do that and uh, just be happy for my entire life while giving back and helping other entrepreneurs. So let's talk a little bit about Gen Z, and I know you're really passionate on the brand marketing side. From your perspective, what yeah. brands are just absolutely killing it in appealing to your generation and why? I think the first one that really comes to mind is T-Mobile, no doubt. Uh, the way that they've not only used influencers and not only using the right ones, but also making sure mm -hmm. the content was on point, uh, very engaging and uh, mm -hmm. very insightful in, into all of the Gen Z characteristics, but also using good dis distribution methods. So mm -hmm. finding out where Gen Z's eyeballs are and really pushing the content through those channels. Um, I think that that's one brand is absolutely killing it. The brand that I believe is always eight steps ahead of everyone else's Taco Bell. Uh, every, the, they started with gifts, uh, really mm -hmm. implementing emojis, like the engagement on Twitter is through the roof. They're the first brand that I really noticed to be able to do that super effectively. So Taco Bell has always been a really, really good one too. Yeah, big fan of Taco Bell, big fan of T-Mobile as well. They use DJ Khaled. Yeah. They use Drake in a lot of their marketing and they're leveraging Snapchat. A lot. So All-Star Game, MLB All-Star Game is happening right now. And I just noticed last night on Snapchat, T-Mobile had a sponsored yeah. filter on there as well. So let's talk a little bit about Snapchat. What do brands need to absolutely know when it comes to leveraging Snapchat, specifically when reaching out and trying to engage Generation Z and young millennials? I, I truly believe, like, the, the thing that matters most to me is an ROI-driven marketing strategy. And when I say ROI, I'm not, I don't mean return on investment, I mean return on interactions. Okay. And when I say that, I mean creating content that's not only meaningful, but I think the most important part is engaging. So I always say it's easier to sell to a friend than it is to a stranger. Curating content using influencers uh, who already have the relationship with their consumer to have the initial audience and then to allow it to grow organically, creating that content that really incubates an engaging environment. So don't do anything that you wouldn't do uh, to make a friend or meet when you're meeting someone for the first time in public. Uh, I think that's super, super important. Right on, right on. So one thing that we were talking about, Connor, off air is business challenges. What business challenges are you currently facing? 
So one of the things that really matters most to me, just because of my age, is also kind of cre cultivating the right relationships and being in the right circles. So one of the challenges for me is because I'm so keen on, okay, let's bring value, let's mm -hmm. create relationships, let's let's try to meet as many cool people as possible and like try to make as many friends as possible. The same thing that I tell brands to do, I try to practice myself, right? So I have a lot of trouble throwing the right hook and the ask or the ability mm -hmm. to monetize all of the value that I bring. Yeah, you know, and my advice to you, you know, Connor, a, as a friend and someone that also I respect in the, in the industry is you should be upfront when you meet others out there in terms of what your intentions are. You know, we hear so much about right hooking and how to know when to go in and right hook. You're always going to be asked this question, which is what is it that you do? And I think that is the prime opportunity and the key is to be able to let people know upfront this is exactly what I do, and this is the value that I can offer. And also ask the right questions. So part of that is when you meet someone, ask them, yeah. what are you doing today to go ahead and appeal to 16, 17, 18 year olds, 19 year olds? And when people say, well, wow, that's interesting. I've never really thought about that. Or you know what, we could probably be doing this a little bit better. That's when you come in and let them know, I'd love an opportunity to go ahead and, and meet with you or speak yeah. with you a little bit further. So as we wrap this up, why don't you look at the camera and let the viewers know what do they absolutely need to nail when it comes to reaching Generation Z and young millennials? Uh, when you want to reach Gen Z and young millennials, I think the most important thing that you need to remember is don't listen to when people say that Gen Z and young, younger millennials have an eight second uh, attention span, the attention span of a goldfish. I hear it all the time. That's not true. Gen Z has not lived in a world without technology, uh, the barrier to technology being so low. They know a world with constant information just being tossed at them. Uh, I, I saw something where two, they see 2,000 ads a day uh, just through social media alone. What they have is an eight second decision filter what, to figure out whether they deem your content worthy of spending more time on or not. So I think micro marketing is something that everyone needs to be paying attention, uh, paying attention to if they wanna create lifelong brand loyal consumers with Gen Z. Awesome. And where can the viewers out there find you? Everyone can find me uh, at my Twitter handle, Blakely Speaks, uh, and my website is counterblakely.com. Awesome. Thanks a lot, my man. Thank you so much for having Always me. Always awesome chatting yeah, with you. Thank sure. you so much for watching. Connor Blakely here in the studio with me at the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and share it out on your social media. Until next time, peace.